Hello there. Uh, so the post today is, do you get fed up waiting for information? Now, I, I do have to confess that I really do get fed up waiting for information or tasks to be completed. Uh, my name is Andrea Jackson from New GNU, and we help training providers to improve the quality of the provision. Using questions based on the Ofsted framework, we identify whether the impact of the training provision is meeting the needs of the learners and then guide those improvements through to ensure that it is. So um, I use um, a project management tool called um, Asana. Um, and in it, I add tasks assigned to a, a, a team member and give it a deadline and then wait. Um, and this is because I'm usually managing a project um, for another company. So I basically ensure that we can all see where we are, where we are, with the specific project in hand, so we can see where we're, we're, we're going. And this is generally for one of my, uh, my, my when I'm doing consultancy. Um, one of the problems that we've all got working from home is that you can't see anyone else and you can't see the team shooting off to another part of the country or to, to get a task completed. And you don't see anyone else in the office to chat to about the project. Um, and that means that um, I don't know whether you've seen the dog um, when they see their owner um, there and then they put the, the blanket over the heads, the dog feels that they're, that they're not there, um, that nothing's being done. Um, and it's sort of the same same thing. Now, for me, um, I'm uh, an advocate on time management. I have to be. Um, and I don't have my um, emails open all of the time. I have scheduled times because otherwise you wouldn't get anything done. Um, and also uh, it's the same with LinkedIn and Facebook because I work on those sort of quite a lot. I keep those closed until it's my time to work on them because otherwise, again, you wouldn't get anything done. Um, and one thing I do find is that that with a lot of people, when we send an email, we literally do believe it's going to be uh, read instantaneously. So I have to, to, to stop that anxiety for me. I've got a little program that says uh, this email has been read yeah, by whoever it is or not being read. Um, and that isn't to micromanage. It's basically to ensure that actually I'm not going to get a reply yet because they haven't read it yet. Um, and that really does um, help me, I find. Um, obviously, now, um, most of my work obviously includes working by myself. I'm booking meetings with learners and employers and staff. I'm compiling reports that show the findings of the chats that I'm having and the improvements that need to be made. And when working with a training provider to drive the improvements through, I am mindful of my need to be less impatient. However, I am mindful that there is a deadline because what with any company, when we have improvements that have to be done, they need to be done. There needs to be a deadline set and that actually needs to be done because it is really no good to say, or I knew about that, I was going to do something about it. One of the very, um, uh, not, it doesn't, it doesn't worry me. It doesn't upset me. It is something that is said a lot that when I'm saying, because I've, I've spoken to a learner and it, you can see that this problem is coming up time and time again and I'll speak to them you know the a, a training company and they'll say and I'll say what well, okay well this is this is what's happening and this is the reason why uh, and they go oh I knew oh I know about that oh, I know about that and you know there's a real big thing that you want to say is well why haven't you done anything about it because one thing about an inspection is that it's all very well to know what is happening in your company because the inspector is interested. Um, the, the one thing that, that would be interesting to all parties is what are you doing about it and by when? Uh, is it important? What's your priority? Um, and that really means working with others. And that's basically, so, I, so, so for me, it's, it's like being a crit, critical friend. 
um, that I work with a, with a company for a, uh, a an amount of time, and um, still am impatient <laughs> when waiting for information. It'd be interesting to find out what you feel when you're in when when you're waiting for information. Um, because we are a culture very much of it, con uh, it's continual. I've just had a, uh, obviously I had a message there. I've just heard the ping. Um, and is somebody waiting for an, uh, an answer? Usually they are, they, they're be because they know it's on your phone. And it's very easy to think that, wh where is my reply? Um, and I think we really do need to sort of sit back a little and think we might not get a reply straight away, you know. Um, depending on the urgency, um, because we are all working together. Now, if you think this post would be interesting to somebody else, please send it on. That would be absolutely great. The more, the merrier. Um, and also, if you'd like more information uh, about what we do at Nuganu, I love that's the reason why I've had Nuganu as as my uh, company title. It rhymes so many times. So if you want more information about what we do, um, just visit the website and, and have a look. Um, but that's it. Um, have a fantastic week. I've got lots of links on the post. So if you want to belong to any group, um, just click a link, um, et cetera, et cetera. So have a fantastic week. Um, I know you will. And um, I'll speak soon. You take care.